I cannot believe this is happening to me. Order in the court. Mr. Brian, you are in this courtroom because the police caught you with the possession of marijuana. Are you prepared to start the trial? Well, I couldn't really afford a lawyer, so you guys were supposed to appoint me one, but he never contacted me. Hmm. Let me look at the paper. Ah, here he is. It seems he just received his lawyering license. So we'll give him another... Ah, speak of the devil. You're late. Sorry about that, Your Honor, but I'm here and ready to work. Oh, no. Well, good then. Go to your client. You have one minute before the trial starts. Okay, well, I'm gonna need ten. Excuse me? That is just too bad. If you wanted more time, you shouldn't have arrived late. Well, Your Honor, I just bought this delicious vanilla ice cream supreme with sprinkles, and it'll take at least five minutes to finish. What? You can't bring ice cream inside the courtroom. Go away and talk to your client. Your Honor, I just bought this ice cream. Do you not hear me talk about how delicious this is? I did mention the sprinkles, right? I don't care how delicious it is. Get rid of it. Yes, sir. But it'll take five minutes to do that. No, no, this just can't be possible. Oh my god. Fine. Just finish your ice cream and go to your client. Sorry about this, Your Honor. I'll get organized as fast as I can. It's okay. I'm gonna turn around. My lawyer isn't going to be him. We're gonna find a way to win this. Hi, Brian. God damn it! Mr. Brian, can you refrain from screaming curse words in my courtroom? But he... Do you want me to drop the hammer? But... Do you want me to drop the hammer? No, but... Then sit down before I drop the hammer. Man, Brian, you really know how to cause a scene. <sighs> Should I even ask? Ask what? How the hell you're my lawyer? Well, I am happy to announce that I just got my lawyering license. How? Internet. Of course you did. Listen, you didn't call me all week, so I already came up with a strategy for my trial. I just need you to sit down, shut up, and let me handle this. But Brian, I just got my lawyering license. I want a lawyer! No, you'll just ruin everything! Now just sit down and keep your mouth shut! Now if the defendant's lawyer is done his ice cream... I am, and may I say it was quite delicious. Yeah, please shut up. Now that we can finally begin, will Inspector Jenkins please come to the stand? Hello, I'm Inspector Jenkins. Inspector? I thought you were an officer. I'm also an inspector. So, Inspector Jenkins, can you tell us what happened? Well, I was working as the police receptionist and answering calls when I received one stating a lot of smoke was seen coming from a house. I proceeded to visit the house and see that the one answering the door was smoking marijuana. And then I took go back to the station and you know the rest. Thank you, Inspector Jenkins. You may now leave the stand. I'm lucky this was quick. I need to hurry back to my mall cop job. But you're a real cop. That is true, Your Honor, but I'm also a mall cop. Okay, now will Chris the Smoothie Shot guy please come to the stand? Chris, would you please describe the kind of person Mr. Brian is? Well, Brian is... Ooh. As I was saying, Brian boo, is... Boo, Chris, boo. Excuse me, could you stop that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, Brian is an employee boo, who- Boo, Chris, boo, you're so bad. Get down, Chris, you suck, boo. Who has an awful taste in friends. That's all I want to say. Can I please just go? Um, yes, you may. Thank God. Come on, Chris, I told you. He's just my acquaintance, really. Please, don't leave. I'll see you at work if that idiot doesn't get you sent to jail. Well, at least I'll still have my job. I can kiss that employee of the month goodbye. Thanks a lot, asshole. Brian, whenever I hear Chris talk, I just have to make him stop. Well, now that we have some information about Mr. Brian from a close friend, I would like to call Mr. Brian to the stand. Mr. Brian, please tell us the reason you are in this courtroom. Well, my stupid roommate and lawyer, Isaiah, blew up my room in our house, which isn't out of the ordinary, might I add. And as usual, he refused to pay for the damages. Now, after these sort of incidents, I usually go outside and have a cigarette to calm down. But once I smoked a few puffs, I realized this wasn't my usual cigarette. And next thing I know, a cop comes out of nowhere, tells me what I'm smoking is marijuana, and arrests me. So you are saying you had no idea it was marijuana and thought it was just your normal cigarettes? Yes, sir. All right, you may leave the stand. If I could, Your Honor, I have some questions I would also like to ask my client. Um. Okay, I guess that's fine. Go ahead. What the hell are you doing? Shh, just roll with it. So, Brian, if that is your real name, 
It is. That was never in question. I would like to ask you a few questions, and I will remind you, you are to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah, I got it. Okay then, Brian. Where were you at approximately 12.01 on December 22nd of last year? Um, I think I was hiding at Chris's house playing Halo since it was your... Oh shit. Aha! I knew you were hiding! Oh come on, you can't seriously still be mad, that was almost a year ago! You guys told me you planned a surprise birthday party for me. I waited at Chuck E. Cheese for five hours! All the other kids started making fun of me. They called me no friends, make lonely pants. Well, I had to lie to you or you'd never shut up. You've been bugging me about having that stupid party for months and there was no way I was paying for it when you literally blew up mine. And FYI, asshole, it's not a surprise party if you fucking ask for it. This is not the last we'll hear about this. That is all the questions I have, Your Honor. You two do realize this is a serious trial, correct? Huh? Yeah, sure, whatever. Would you please just sit on the stand? I want to get this trial over with. What? Why would you call my lawyer up? Oh, it's probably just because I'm a really important witness. What? Well, Brian, I was the one who called the police. What? Isaiah, why would you call the cops on me? To get you arrested, of course. But why would... Isaiah, did you put the weed in my room? How else would you have gotten weed? I mean, honestly, you should have just connected the dots when the cigarettes were the only thing in your room that were fine after I blew it up. You're trying to get me sent to jail just so you can use your stupid lawyer's license? Oh no, Brian, that's not the only reason. What could possibly possess you to plant weed in my room, get me arrested, and sabotage my trial just to get me sent to prison? Popsicle. No. That's right, Brian. You knew I wanted that popsicle. You knew I'd been saving it all week, yet you ate it. I'll never forget that day. I've never cried more in my entire life. The moment I saw that stick in the trash, I knew revenge was in order. Order in the court. Mr. Brian, what is this idiot talking about? Well, your honor, by the sounds of it, my roommate seems to have planted the weed in my room because I ate his popsicle. Hey, that's not the only reason. You also trolled me when I tried to get my achievement, the birthday thing, and all the other stuff you do to me. Once I get you sent to jail, I will have my revenge for all the evil things you've done. And once you're gone, I can finally sleep on the table. Yeah, so this court is adjourned. Mr. Brian, you are free to go. Thank you, Your Honor. Wait, what? 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 Why didn't he get ruled as guilty? Well, probably because you just admitted to framing him. Oh. Yeah, next time, try not saying your entire plan in front of the court justice and microphones before it's over with. And! Judge? No, shut up. Judge? Shut up. Judge? I order you to shut up. Judge. Why won't you shut up?